Several weeks ago, we showed you the most amazing video we've ever seen. Watch closely as a Navy crewman actually gets sucked into the engine of a jet plane. It's hard to believe that anyone survived such a horrifying ordeal, but he did. So we embarked on a nationwide manhunt to find him. A letter from one of our viewers brought us to Clinton, Indiana, where we found former Petty Officer J.D. Bridges, and this is his amazing story. Nineteen ninety-one, Persian Gulf. During Operation Desert Storm, the crew aboard the USS Theodore Roosevelt is on full alert. In the early morning hours of February twentieth, J.D. and a new recruit are preparing for the takeoff of an A-6 fighter jet. The trainee positions the front wheels of the plane and moves back. That's when J.D. steps forward to check his work, but he makes a big mistake. I don't know why or what crossed my mind the way I entered the plane, but it was wrong because I should have been kneeling and I wasn't. Watch again as JD moves in front of the engine. Suddenly JD is sucked inside. Now he's in a desperate fight for his life. The helpless man struggles as he's pulled into the deadly blades of the massive jet engine. It sucked off my helmet, it sucked off my goggles, it took my gloves off my hand, chewed my float coat, my shirt, and my jacket up all the way around me. Then, in an amazing stroke of luck, J.D.'s helmet flies off his head and jams the engine's razor-sharp blades, causing him to slow down. A fellow crewman sees the engine malfunction and quickly signals the pilot to shut it down, just seconds before J.D. would have been ripped to shreds. Flight deck personnel race to the scene, expecting the worst. But to their amazement, J.D. claws his way out of the engine. Later, he recounts the terrifying moment for his fellow crewmen. All the air was rushing through the intake, and it was sucking my air. I couldn't get in the air, and then I heard him shut down the engine, and I looked back, and I just started pulling myself out, and that's the last thing I remember. This is truly a remarkable story of survival. J.D. knows that it's nothing short of a miracle. Somebody was looking out for me. An old Navy buddy of J.D.'s, Mike McDonald, witnessed the terrifying moment firsthand. Mike wrote the letter that made tonight's story possible. God must have been holding on to his foot. Nothing happened to him. You know, he minor cuts and bruises and scratches and a couple broken bones and, and that's it. You know, it's amazing. It's, it's got to be a miracle.